All right, everyone, here is an introduction to our uh, Photoshop. We're going to go down to the bottom and type in Adobe, Adobe Photoshop. Um, if you want to right click on it, you could pin it to um, the taskbar. And so then it is always at the bottom and easy access to that. It's the Adobe Creative Cloud. Uh, we just updated it in 2019. And so it looks a little, oh, it looks all right. <laughs> um, first thing you're going to want to do is go up to File and type in Open. And depending on what you're working on, um, currently we're in the portrait unit. So I have a few pictures that I would like to edit in my final folder. So we're just going to open up picture of Nora and Rufus. Um, your uh, tools over here might look a little bit different. Um, if you click on these little lines over here, um, you can just close all the tabs. Just close them all. And then what I do is I go up to Window, and you need to make sure that you have the history open. That's going to show you all the steps that you do on your picture. And also in Windows, you're going to want to open up your layers. Um, we use those sometimes. Um, and then the last thing you want to use is your navigator. Um, so hopefully we've got the navigator here. We've got the history. And if you want to kind of pull them on separate areas, you can. And then there's your layers. It's really up to you. So over here, this kind of shows what you're doing. The navigator allows you to zoom in and out. And look at that, that's a little pixelated picture, which isn't great, but um, so if we're doing skin editing, you want to zoom way in. Um, the history will show us everything that you're doing, and then the layers, if we happen to do anything different than the layers, you're going to want to know that. So the first step in editing a picture is to pull up. It is the one, two, three, four, fifth tool down. If you float your mouse over it, it'll say the crop tool. And what's really nice about this um, software is if you click learn how, it will go through kind of an editorial of how to use that tool. So we're going to use the crop tool and we're going to just kind of crop and get our main subject. So I'm going to try and crop out some of that garbage in the back. Um, notice that this is the rule of thirds grid. Try to get some of your subjects on some of these points. Okay, not smack in the middle, nor is in the middle, but Rufus is over here. And once you have a composition that you like, you just press enter, and that will crop the picture for you. Always make sure that first and foremost, you have a good composition. I actually might even crop it a little bit more. There's some stuff in the background here. There, get rid of some of that stuff right there. There we go. That's better. Uh, next, I like to come up to image, and I always click on auto contrast just to kind of bump up the contrast. Sometimes it doesn't make it much of a difference, but sometimes it does. And you can see here my steps in my history. Then I go up to image and I click adjustments. And this is where I bump up the hue and the saturation a little bit. Now the trick with editing pictures is you want them to look just a little bit better than they did before, but not obviously edited. So we don't want to make Nora look like crazy colors. That is kind of defeats the purpose. So we're not going to use the hue. If your picture is a little too light, you can change the darkness or the lightness. Well, this one looks fine. Normally, I just bump up the saturation, maybe five, six um, points, just to bump up the color a little bit and press OK. Cropping to make sure you have a good composition and adjusting um, the auto contrast and a little bit of the saturation is the first step in starting to edit any of your pictures. Make sure when you are done editing, go up to File and click Save As. Now I have this in my Portrait Final folder. I want to keep the original picture, so I'm going to call this Nora Edited. And I'm going to press Save so that I have the original picture and I have an edited picture. That's really important. If you get this option, you can say OK. That's the first step in starting to edit your pictures.